we're hoping to learn how it happened so that we can identify what to do to prevent it from happening again. In one sentence, CHP Captain Todd Morrison simply states the purpose of Thursday's accident reenactment. Morrison, a Northern Division commander who oversees the multidisciplinary accident investigation team, also known as MATE, explained how Thursday's CHP investigation was two-parted. First, a series of visual tests as clone vehicles drove along the same path as one week ago. We want to identify driver perspectives from both vehicles. What they, they could have seen, we have a series of cameras uh, strategically set up in each of the vehicles and then we run different speeds so we can try and, and get a perspective of what they may have saw when they, when they approached the collision scene. Second, a speed from skid analysis. Identifying as close as we can, coupled with all the other evidence we've gathered, a pre-impact speed of the vehicles. Morrison says if needed, they could recreate the entire scene once those skid marks eventually disappear. We've already protected those skid marks. We've measured them, we've photographed them, we have them uh, logged in with a, a very sophisticated Leica machine. While all of this was going on, there were local officials from Glen County on site to provide social support services to local residents who may still have this event photographed in their mind. They may feel that they're witnessing it again and they may need counseling or social support following this. Passing out information on post-traumatic stress and giving people's numbers to call. And we've asked for people to put their children away um, in the house so they don't have to relive the event all over again. Reliving, remembering may be tough, but recreating was necessary.